Matthew 23. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and uh, to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore, uh, whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do, but do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. In other words, they're hypocrites. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. But all their words they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments, and love the uppermost rooms at the feast, and the chief seats in the synagogues, and greetings in the marketplaces, uh, markets, and to be called of men Rabbi, Rabbi. But be not ye called Rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Woe well unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer or permit ye them that are, enter, that are entering to go in. Woe well unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayers. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Well unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, ye make him uh, twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Well unto you that uh, Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gold of or the temple that sanctifies the gold, or that sets the gold apart. And whosoever shall swear, swear by the altar, it is nothing. But whosoever sweareth by the gift that is upon it, he is guilty. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gift or the altar that sanctifieth the gift. Whoso therefore shall swear by the altar, sweareth by it and by all things thereof. And whosoever shall swear by the temple, sweareth by it and by him that dwelleth therein. And he that shall swear by heaven, sweareth by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. Well unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of men and anus, and cometh, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law. Judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Ye blind guides, which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. Well unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Thou blind Pharisee, Cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. You see, God cleans us from the inside out. When we come to the Lord Jesus Christ, when we put our faith in Him, we have a new spirit within. We receive the Holy Spirit the moment we are saved, the moment we're born again into God's family, 
we faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we, we've been cleansed from all our sin through the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that he shed for us upon the cross of Calvary. Why to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. You see, the heart is de deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. The Bible says, who can know it? Next verse says, I, the Lord, try the hearts. So the Lord knows what's in our hearts, and we're desperately wicked. Our hearts are desperately wicked above all things. And so this is why we need to be born again. We need to have the new birth. We need to be born again into God's family through faith in the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. The one who died upon the cross can be your saviour this afternoon. And that's my prayer unto the Lord that you would put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to become a child of God so that you can enter into heaven. You see, you cannot be in heaven because of your sin. We need forgiveness for those sins. And the only way is through the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ which he shed for us on the cross of Calvary. Even so, ye also outwardly appear uh, righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe well, unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous, and say, If we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. In other words, they're saying that we wouldn't have killed the prophets if we were in that day, but they would have, obviously they would have. See, what, what's happened here is the Jews have rejected their Messiah. They have not recognized the Lord Jesus Christ for who he really is. He's the King of Israel. He's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He is the Christ, God's anointed. The one that will rule and reign in righteousness for all of eternity, eventually, one day. But, until then, you need to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, my friend. You need to come by faith and put your faith in Him. The one who to know is life eternal. Eternal life is not found in a man-made religion. You know, these scribes and Pharisees and hypocrites, they just, you know, they say one thing and do another. They don't hold true to what they're actually preaching. And this is what we need. We need to be honest before God. And being honest before God will mean that we'll admit that I'm a sinner. This is called repentance in the sight of God. It's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. That's what God wants. For each and every one of us, he wants us all to be in heaven. But we cannot be in heaven apart from faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who loved us enough to die upon the cross, shed his precious blood for you and for me, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Yes. They said, they said that we would, we would not, you know, be partakers with them in the blood of the prophets, like in the Old Testament. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers. How can ye escape the damnation of hell? The only way we can escape the damnation of, of hell is by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, by putting our faith alone in Him. So what do you need to do? Come in repentance toward God. That is, a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. God does not want to have to judge you, but He will. If you die without the Lord Jesus as your Saviour, He'll be your judge instead. Saviour or judge, heaven or hell, what will it be for you? God is not willing that any should perish, 
but that all should come to repentance. Change your mind, agree with God that you are a sinner, and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. This would be the best day of your entire life if you were to come to Christ, if you were to put your faith alone in Him for your eternal salvation. See, a person who's saved can never ever lose their salvation. It's absolutely eternal. It's everlasting life. How can it be everlasting life if you can lose it, my friend? No, the Lord Jesus Christ has got an eternal life for us. Those of us who have believed upon Him are on our way to heaven. And nothing, I mean nothing, can stop that happening. It's got nothing to do with the way we behave. It's got everything to do with what Jesus Christ did for us upon the cross. He shed his precious blood. He died on our account. He died in our place. He's the divine substitute that took the sinner's place upon the cross of Calvary. Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them you shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall you scourge in your synagogues, in other words, whip in your synagogues, and persecute them from city to city, that upon you may come all the righteous bloodshed upon the earth, from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, son of Barachias, whom he slew between the temple and the altar. Verily or truly I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, O Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, you shall not see me henceforth, till you shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. And that will happen in a coming day. But the point is this, you and I need God's salvation, and we need it urgently right now. You need to get saved, you need to become a child of God, through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. There's no way that you can be in heaven apart from the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why the Bible says, He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. Come in repentance toward God, as I've said. Acknowledge you're a sinner before God, and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and your soul will be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. In order of redemption, through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, I appreciate that. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you, thanks for listening. Thanks for listening, I appreciate that. Look me up on YouTube, of course. Yeah. Thanks. God bless you. Have a great night. See you later.